Yeah, well, camp's always, you know, a very important part of the season. And I think one of the unique things about our situation right now, we were able to keep our, you know, our core group of, you know, big-time players together. You know, Dirk, Josh, Jet, and Jason, and then, you know, add Drew and add Sean and add Tim. Um, uh, by the way, I want, I want to men- mention Chris Humphreys, who's not here today. He is uh, was gone for the weekend and couldn't make it back in time. But he was also in... The, the Sean Marion deal from Toronto, and he's uh, he's been working out with our guys and playing extremely well. And he's another big, rugged guy who's a good rebounder and very physical. So um, I think we've increased our athleticism quotient. Uh, I think we're more physical, and as I mentioned, I, I really believe we've we've become a better defensive team before camp even starts. And defense is going to be our, our number one focus. So you know that's the area where, where we're really looking to get better. We know we can score, and you know, the defensive end and rebounding the ball is going to be a big part of, you know, climbing the ladder in the Western Conference. Rick, a year ago you talked uh, a lot about having spent time last summer with the, the players, trying to get to know them. Have you done that again this summer to the same degree that you did it a year ago? Uh, somewhat. I, I didn't go to Germany this summer. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I've kept in contact with guys, and we've had a lot of guys in. And I've uh, gone out and visited several of the players and some of the newer guys. Uh, visited Sean a couple times, once in Chicago, once in L.A., and was with Drew in uh, Orlando about a month ago. So, you know, particularly the newer guys, I've uh, made a point of spending some time with them to kind of see what they're about, how they think about the game, and to you know, work with them a little bit on some of the things that we'll expect so that as their workouts kind of progress through the summer, they'd know some of the things that we would be looking for them to do. So... Those things are always great and very helpful. And, um, you know, as always, we, you know, Donnie and Mark have gotten good people in here, you know, quality, um, you know, high-character guys that can play. And that's that always makes it a lot more fun. Drew, having competed against uh, the Mavericks in the playoffs last year and seeing what the nucleus of the team was capable of in the first-round series against San Antonio, was that a pretty strong selling point, seeing what this team could do last May and, and how your talents can hopefully add to it? Uh, yeah, I think what what hurt us last year playing against us <laughs> was uh, they had a high octane, you know, offensive basketball team. I think uh, it, it seems like whoever touched the ball had the ability to score one-on-one and make a play. And I think uh, defense, I think, is the key and the main focus coming in training camp that will make this team a lot better. I think uh, a lot of the guys, some guys on this team, they had the taste of, you know, playing the championship and playing in the finals. And you know, without defense, you can't make it that far. So I think that's going to be our main focus. Sean, how do you see your game uh, and Josh Howard's games complementing each other and that blend working? I think, uh, man, I think uh, with the lines we're going to go with, I think uh, it's going to be evident that uh, we're going to be able to switch a lot of positions because. For the most part, <laughs> me, Stosh, Jake, Hit, Dirk, all of us are pretty much the same size a little bit in so many ways. So, so, many ways. so, so it's like uh, <laughs> we're going to be able to switch a lot of things. I think it's going to make us very versatile on both ends of the floor. And I think, uh, no, I think we just gonna, everybody's got to get the chemistry right. That's what, what's going to be the most part for us, getting, getting a feel for each other and just going out there having fun playing with each other. Tim or Sean, whoever feels like, can you talk a little bit about the nomadic nature of the NBA? You, know, you talked in, in group two with a bunch of teams now, and how you know you're, you're playing against Dirk one time, and, and you know that's uh, that's what is what it is, and now you got to come back, and now you're, you're a family and a team and whatnot. You be on more teams than I have. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, teammate. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just the nature of um, sports. I mean, you know, you, you get trades and, you know, things happen. I mean, um, you know, guys in, in, in dining position, you know, sometimes they feel as though, um, you know, trades are, are necessary to make the team better. And, um, you know, as players, uh, it's not in our hands. I mean, we just have to deal with it. But, uh, you know, I, I think this opportunity for me is going to be great. I mean, um, you know, the, the quality of guys we have here, um, and I think everybody's after the ultimate goal, which is the championship. So, I mean, I'm just looking forward to, you know, trying to get back and getting to that goal.
Jason, you've been around a long time. How do you feel about playing preseason games and maybe regular season games with new officials? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Careful. Now. There's too many cameras and mics. Uh, um, Fortunately, you know, you're not that hesitant with the basketball. No, no, no. No, I know who to give the ball to. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing is going to be a work in progress for everybody if they can't work out the uh, labor agreement with the officials. Um, you know, some guys will have the opinion that the officials out there, that, you know, the replacement officials are the same, just as good as the old officials. And so I think uh, one way to look at it would be a fair playing field for everybody because nobody will have the advantage because the officials are going to call what they see and uh, we just got to deal with it. And so, um, you know, I think veteran ball clubs will have the advantage uh, just to keep your composure and, and play the game of basketball, you know, play the game the right way. And, uh, you know, the whistle's blown. Then there's a foul, and uh, you know you just have to move on. Sean, over the years you've had a pretty good relationship with Mark Cuban off the court, summertime, things like that. Did you ever think a couple of teams ago that you'd ever play for him in Dallas? And did you ever want to play for Mark Cuban? Because a lot of teams, a lot of players said he did. Man, you know uh, it's funny how things work out, man. You know, um, I think it was I think it was really meant for me to be here. I think uh, you know I, we've definitely been in touch over since I, over my, my duration of my career, and um, it, it was so happened that uh, you know I got some, some some phone calls from somewhere, you know, <laughs> some ghosts was looking up, uh, watching over me or whatever. But at the same time, I think uh, you know uh, it just happened, man. You know, uh, this is actually one of the places I actually picked mm -hmm. to retire at. You know, and uh, it's funny, yeah. you know. Um, it's, uh, I think it's meant to be. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Sean, uh, a lot of people away from the NBA fans and some media and whatnot saying you're not the same player you were in Phoenix uh, given what happened in Toronto and Miami. But what do you say to those people? Well, you know, if you know anything about the game of basketball, you know, uh, totally different teams, you know, totally different situations. So, in saying that, uh, when I went from Miami, well, I left Phoenix. We was number one team in the Western Conference. I went to Miami, went to the, the worst team in the league. And then, uh, you know, uh, everybody was hurt on the team. And uh, we, we brought in a lot of players from, from every league <laughs> you could think of that wasn't the NBA to play with us. And then uh, all of a sudden, uh, I get there, I get a training camp with the team. I leave the team, and we we in third and fourth place in the West, I mean, Eastern Conference. Then I go to Toronto, finish the season off. And, uh, you know, I think my roles have definitely changed since I left Phoenix. You know, uh, I went to a team where D-Way is, is the man. You know what I'm saying? I went to a team Chris Boss was really the man, and, and other people was the focal point. You know, uh, but, man, you know, I'm, I'm a basketball player. You know, I'm going to go in and help the team regardless of what the situation is. You know, if I'm there for the duration of the time I'm supposed to be there, I'm going to help the team. You know, and that's the way I feel. So regardless of what I'm doing, what the situation is, I'm a better basketball player than I was than before. So I'll definitely learn the game, and uh, I'm going to help everybody around me. That's what it boils down to. Thanks very much for coming. I want to make an announcement that these jerseys are now available up in our team shops and on mapgear.com, and we're going to have the guys hold up their jerseys momentarily so we can get some, some shots of that, guys. But thank you, everybody, for coming out and welcoming all of our new signees this season.